So this is where I left off last time. Already read that. Blaze reveals moonshine operation. Bayfield County, Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogden Road. According to authorities, the still comprised the propane, yeah, comprised the propane save of a four-gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash. Based on the size of the still, Bayfield County Sheriff Hank Schaefel believes it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted there could be other stills in the county. Officers on the scene recovered a half gallon of apple pie moonshine and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the still. The police have been unable to determine who owns the still. What? Oh, NASA launches the ATS-6 satellite. Cape Canaveral, Florida. NASA launched what has been called the world's first educational satellite in Florida today, giving the United States powerful edge in telecommunication technology. The Applications Technology Satellite 6 will directly broadcast educational programming to several countries, including the United States, Canada, India, and Australia. NASA believes the satellite will remain in constant contact with Earth for at least the next five years. How the fuck is that related? Maybe that's actually the important part. Mayfield County. <coughs> so, obviously here's the still and everything. <coughs> so where the hell am I now? Oh, okay. Still in this house. So I know this game is supposed to kind of let you wander around and do your own thing, but you really have no indication at all when you're, like, done in an area. <laughs> I'm actually kind of wondering if you're able to play this entire game by just, like, running through it and not looking at anything. Like, will that affect the ending? Will you get the same ending and you just won't understand anything? Alright, I did walk over here earlier. Yep, can't use this uh, elevator. Alright. Let's see where the road takes us. Wait, no. I'm gonna run over into these woods quick. Look for more astronauts. Come on, astronauts. Where you at? <coughs> so we've got an astronaut running around in, in the forest and a news article that mentions a satellite being launched by NASA. Coincidence? Maybe. Wow, I have no idea which direction I should go now. 
this game had an actual day-night cycle, I'm pretty sure it would be nighttime right now. The way I've dicked around. I've stepped through too many portals, been present in too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay on the other side, waiting. Whenever I return, I bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? They're sad, evicted things. Memories without homes. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So, that seems like it could have been a clue to our protagonist being something other than human. We already know he has certain abilities. Like speaking to dead bodies. Hmm. <coughs> Maybe I'm the sleeper. Looks like there's a building up there, so I'm gonna head this way. How do I get in there? Alright, well, that looks like a thing for later. Watching Moss Grow Simulator 2014. Sorry, I'm just trying to fill the space with stuff, something. What do the dead have to say? You'd be surprised by how little they know. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. They walk down stairs that disappear beneath their feet, headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. Hmm. So he seems to know an awful lot about dead people. Here we go. Hmm. This is a cool building. Stuff to do. Alright, looks like we got more blood. Dead birds. for 
So I can barely see the outline of a body. Looks like it has a knife in it. Oh, here we go. Bottom of some steps. Okay. <coughs> Which I guess is right here. Vandegrift. The old Vandegrift house. And I don't know Latin. So. Something. Hello? Hello? Dead body? Are you here? Crow. All right, so look for the cemetery with the statue. So do I actually need the other crow to make this work? Yeah, I'm guessing so. When I pull this, probably it won't work. Okay. So before I go on doddering around in there, I guess we'll go look for this crow. <coughs> Whoops, wait a sec. Apparently I missed something back here. Okay, looks like I'm looking for an oil lamp at the bottom of some broken stairs around the side of a column. Um, I guess we'll go for this crow first. Here we go. Now shit's happening. So these crime scenes are obviously fairly recent, but there's nobody on the island other than me. Well, I don't know if this is actually an island or not. Okay, here's the statue. There we go. <coughs> All right. Have the crow. What's up, man? How you doing? You are missing some limbs.
Alright, let's see if we can't retrieve this oil lamp. Oh, fuck. Well, this is creepy looking. Listen to that fucking chanting. It's so eerie. I like it. Here we go. A little warped on the bottom. But, probably works just fine. go up there. There are other entrances into this place? This might sound weird, but if this place existed, I would probably try to vacation there. <laughs> I would definitely wander around and have fun. As creepy as it may be. Okay, I guess that's the only way in there. Alright, um... See if we can attach this crow. Now does this do stuff? Oh, they're gonna nice. Oh shit, son. That kind of looks like that one dude that was in the picture. I think it was supposed to be Uncle Chad. If so, he kind of seemed like an asshole, so he's dead now. That's good. That symbol there was on the uh, walls in the weird flippy warpy house. Uh, <laughs> fucking disturbing crime scenes. I'll just take that. in here. What does it say? Oh. He loves my beloved wife. Emmett's Vandegrift. And some Latin. Pretty cool. All right, time to retrieve more clues. Um, well, you didn't see the dagger before. Oh, okay. I'm not really sure how we ascertained that that dagger was used here, but all right. <laughs> Apparently that's the crow killing dagger. Someone warned Jon Snow.
Okay. Doesn't look like I can, I can do anything else with that. Alright, so we got... Oil lamp, a dagger, a wheelbarrow. Blood stain. Okay, well, maybe the dagger and the. Oh, here's something I missed. What? Alright, I don't know how he knew all that, but. Let's go take a look at our body again. There we go. No, come back. Looks like they're leading the dude in there. It is the guy that was down here, right? Yeah, okay. <coughs> Alright, so they let him in. Apparently he wasn't dead at that point. What a bitch. Quit crying. I think that's the guy who was tying Ethan to the train tracks very poorly. Alright. Oh, shit. Huh. Damn, you can hear wolves really loudly. Okay, chronology. Um <coughs> Well She doesn't have a lantern anymore. She does have a lantern here. So, alright, we'll go with this being number one. And then... Number two, she comes upon those two fighting. Let's stop to it. He 
He cries like a bitch. Continues to cry like a bitch. They go down here. And they leave and she doesn't have a lamp anymore, I guess. That must mean I fucked it up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna admit, I don't know what order to put this shit in. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And breaking him up. I don't know. That first one was pretty intuitive. Forever. This one, I'm either missing something or it's not intuitive. You know he's harmless. You know this is wrong. Chad, finish those bricks before he hits him. Ah, my eyes! Oh, nice. Chad, let me see it. Get the hell away from me. He should have been helping. Dale's weak. He always has been. You're right. He is weak. Chad, get off of him! He's your brother! Get off of him! Nice. What the hell's going on? Where's Ethan? The one who sleeps must not sleep. Your Uncle Chad is dead. Gross. Ethan. Um, okay. I have absolutely no idea how I was supposed to know that chronology. <laughs> Maybe I'm stupid. our boy. Dad, I need to get into the mine. What? Mine? My, my key. I, I don't have it. I guess I'll use the tunnel near the gate. Just, just keep mom away from me, all right? She's sick. You're all sick. The tunnel near the gate. The sleeper must not sleep. Ethan disturbed something. Whatever it was, it got out, into the air, and into the minds of his family. Cool, alright. Now what? Now what? I'm so lost and alone in this world. No, seriously, what the fuck now? <laughs> uh, so he mentioned the key to get into the mine, which I did see back at that gate. And then he was like, I don't have the key, and I'll go through the tunnel near the gate. So apparently there's a tunnel, which I'm not sure why seeing that cutscene would help me find a tunnel. Whoop. Oh shit, what just happened? For many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. And I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Oh. Well then. We'll do it your way. Do you feel there is vanity in charity? You're hitting me with a lot with a lot of shit here, lady. God damn it. Does death bring peace or suffering? Is betrayal caused by 
inequality or injustice. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear, and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping, until the child was born, but the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers... The witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. He has like a rough draft in the back. Ethan, the point of life is not to <coughs> rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Note from Ethan's mother. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it, and I know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? And out of your ass, Ethan. God damn it. Little bastard brat. Sorry. Okay, um... So, okay. So maybe this was like a little retreat for Ethan. Maybe. Well, now I'm out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Okay, so I'm back here again. So that means <coughs> in order to find the mine, I have to go this way. Apparently there's some kind of tunnel near the gate. I didn't see it the first time, but we'll see. All right, here's the gate. Found it. Didn't expect it to be over here. <coughs> this seems like a good place to stop. New video next time.